Today we're going to show you how you can hack basically any game running on your PC. And whoa, get out of here, man! Get out! What? What the? Could you get out <clears throat> of my shop? Please? All right, your turn. Yeah, exactly. That's my turn now. All right. So if we want to hack any game on our PC, we're going to need a program that's going to help us with that. And Cheat Engine is a such a program. So what Cheat Engine basically does is it will scan for a value in a game like for example this one. This is um, a game from Big Fish. It's basically a farming game. You plant stuff, you harvest stuff and you sell stuff and yeah it's quite funny. And yeah my, my sister actually plays that a whole lot. So we need a program that will scan for values like our money value over here in the game and then figures out which of the values that makes up this game process is the right one so that we can change it. So Cheat Engine is one of the programs that can do this. There are others, but I'm not really used to those. Cheat Engine is by far the most commonly used program to do this kind of hacking and cheating in games. So I'm just going to show you how this works. If you want to get Cheat Engine, you can just Google it or click the link below this video. I'll have a link there that uh, links to cheatengine.org where you can download this software. All right, so basically how this works is you have a game running on your PC. I'm just going to take this big fish game here, this farming game as an example. It works basically with all games that are running on your PC and that are single player games. It might work with some multiplayer games but it uh, generally doesn't work with multiplayer games because multiplayer games process their values on the server, on the game server, so that you um, yeah, are less likely to cheat. So <laughs> that was obvious. But So I'm just going to show you how this works in Cheat Engine. We have this little PC icon right here in the upper left corner of Cheat Engine. And if we click it, we can select a process that we want to hack or, you know, edit. So in my case that would be Alice AliceGreenFingers2.exe. So that's just the name of my game. If if you want to hack, for example, a browser game, you're going to want to find the Firefox process or whatever browser you're playing um, your game on. Or if you want to hack, I don't know, your Internet Explorer, if you're playing a game there, you choose that process. But generally games have names that um, identify them clearly as the games that you're looking for. So Alex Greenfingers at 2 exe and Alex Greenfingers. So we're choosing our process, we open it. And now basically what we do, it's, it's actually quite easy. So we put in the value that we want to change, the current amount, you know, the current value that it has. So for example, I got $56 in this game right now. So I'm just going to type in this value, 56 in Cheat Engine, and I'm doing a scan for it. So that will just get all the values that have, you know, that are at 56 at this point in time in this game process. So we got a whole lot of these. Um, There's 700 values, over 700 values that are at 56. So that's, we don't know which one is the right one. We don't know which one we want to change. So we go back into the game and we change that value. So I'm just going to walk around, collect some apples and my money increases by two each time I take an apple. So I'm at 60 now, so I'm just gonna pause the game and scan a new, forward a new value, which is now at 60. So I'm typing in 60 and I'm pressing next scan. Now, Cheat Engine will now take all these values and look for the one that has changed to 60. And there's exactly two after I've pressed next scan. So, I don't know whether there's just one or two, so I'm going back into the game and I'm just gonna buy something from the shop. I'm gonna buy a crate. And now my value is at 59. I'm scanning for 59. You can do this as many times as you want. You should always come up with the right values at the end. All right, now in this case, we have two values that correspond with our money. Sometimes there's just one, other times there's four or even six or eight or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So if you have multiple values, it works exactly the same as if we had just one. So you just select both of these values or just the one if you only have one. 
Um, I'm selecting both of these by holding down shift, clicking one and then the other. And now you press the red arrow to get the values down into this list over here. So what this list basically does, it gives you the ability to change the values. You can't change them up here. You have to get them down here either by double clicking them or selecting them and pressing the red arrow. All right, now we can change them. I have multiple values. So I'm just going to select them all by holding down shift. Uh, now you can right click, change record and value. Now you can type in whatever um, you want to change that value into. So in my case, I want to have a lot of money. So I'm just going to change it to a thousand. All right. Now this might not change the value in the game instantly. It might take a while or, you know, in my case, it didn't. Sometimes you will have to actively change the value once more until it goes to the new value that you entered. So, but that depends from game to game. So, okay, that's actually the basic technique on how to hack almost any game running on your PC. So, this goes further if you want to know. So, some games will make an effort to, you know, um, make your life harder if you're a hacker. So, they will, for example, not use just four by values. So these are um, all the options that you have for looking for values. So what you can do is, if if the game isn't um, hacker proof, so to speak, it, the values will mostly be um, stored as four byte values. Then if a game um, tries to keep hackers at bay, they might actually use doubles or strings or even floats. So if it if it doesn't if four byte doesn't work for you, then I would try to go for double or float. So these are just the most commonly used one ones. Four byte is most commonly used. Float is commonly used, and double is used once in a while. If none of these works, you can go for all. Um, the downside, I, if you use all, is that it'll take a whole lot of time and a whole lot of processing power to scan. Um, if you're using that option, so and there's also other encryptions. I mean, um, some developers save it as four byte values, but they'll multiply it like by two or by three or by eight. So that can really make your your life harder. But I will publish a tutorial that will show you how you can find encrypted values. But I'll do so a little bit later. So I hope this helps, and you now have a basic and simple technique on how to hack almost any game running on your PC. Alright, 